my name is Nicole, and I've noticed everyone in the Koala community is using uh, this controller. So I've decided to make a custom preset, actually a couple of custom presets, in order to control as much as possible of the software without having to touch the screen. I've made a written tutorial, which I'm going to be following as well. Um, if you want to just follow this tutorial without me rambling on, you can just go to the description. Okay. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, you're going to want to download Cube Suite from this website. Okay. You just come here, go to PC software and download MIDI Suite. Now I want you to go back to the description and download these three files from my Google Drive. If this is your first time using this controller on your Android device, you're going to need this app, MIDI Hub. It is paid, but if you want to, you can find an older version for free. So let's begin. After downloading MIDI Suite and my three presets, you're going to open MIDI Suite. You're going to connect your device and you're going to click connect. As you can see, these are the default bindings. So it's all normal. Okay. What we're going to do is go to preset one, import, and then import Nifox color plus. These are just the regular pads colored. And on bank B, you have more colors. As you can see. Okay, now we're going to go to preset two, where all of our effects are, and you're going to import the Fox FX plus control. This preset is quite special because I have mapped all of these to be momentary CC. What that does is that it allows me to use these pads to control the effects as if I was turning a knob. As for the third preset that you're going to import, this is DAW control. So this one is optional, but if you use your SMC pad with Reaper or Logic or Ableton, this is the same thing that is by default under preset two. Okay. If you fumble the bag or you want to go back, you just click reset. Now that we're finished with the computer, you're going to get your mobile device. If it's Android, let me quickly show you how to connect your device. Open Media Hub, open an input and an output, set both to SMC pad and connect them. That's it. Now you're going to open Koala. And we're going to start mapping. First of all, uh, you're going to go to sample. You're going to click this pad and then the corresponding pad on your controller. You're going to do the same for each and every one of these. Then you're going to select B, select pad bank B and do the same with all of them. you're going to select sample start and map that to knob number seven. Sample length to pad number eight. Volume to five. Pitch to six. And the last four refer to the mix. Map three to low frequency. One to low gain four to high frequency and two to high gain. That way we can control the simple EQ without having to touch the screen. Now that we're done, let's go to the effect section. First, you're going to want to select shift and presets two on your SMC pad. And we're going to start by mapping the effects on the triggers. You don't have to press every pad, just one on the column. So let's start. You're going to map the first column to stutter, the second to cutter, 
the third to talk box, and the last one is a little mix. So the first one goes to come, the second goes to ring, and the other two come to filter, so they can high cut and low cut. Hold is assigned to the pause button. Now let's talk a little bit about the knobs. On both preset one knob bank B and on both knob banks on preset two, um, they all do the same thing. So knob number seven controls the crush. Number eight controls the talk box. Number five controls the stutter. Six controls the cutter. And then the last four knobs refer to the volume of each bus. Now, if you go to pad bank B, you will notice that the colors changed once again. You're gonna map the eight purple on top to the sequences. Then you're gonna map the reds to each of the mutes and the blues to each of the solos. Now the last little touches are to map the left and the right button to mute and solo, so you can hold them and quickly tap a pad to mute or solo it, and the play button. And that's pretty much it. If you need any help or if I explain something in not the clearest way, leave a comment here or on Reddit and I'll reply to you. Bye! Thank you.